Johnny, it's a real honor of my life to be here with you, sir. Oh, thank you very much. And, uh, Appreciate it. You look very much like you look in, um, in pictures and <laughs> album covers and so forth. Well, I'm a little um, over. <laughs> a little over than most of those pictures. <laughs> so uh, you're, you're 70 now. Right, right? I just turned yeah. 70 a couple months ago. Yeah, in February, February right. 23rd. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's quite an honor. So that means you've been playing how many years so far? Over 50. 50 started when years. I was 12. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> you started first with the clarinet. Yeah, when I was about uh, seven. I, when you were seven. And then switched over to the ukulele? Yeah, when I was two okay. years later when I was nine. Okay, what made you pick up the guitar? Uh, Chuck Berry, pretty much. Okay, okay. And you're from Beaumont, Texas. Right. Yeah, I've been to Beaumont. Uh, have you been back? Yeah, we played we played a show down there just a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must love you down there, hometown hero. Yeah, hometown <laughs> hero. So um, you've you've helped a lot of people regain their careers. Muddy Waters. Oh well, yeah. Can you tell me about that? Well, I loved Muddy's music and I loved him as a person. Uh, it was a real honor to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you you got to record and win a Grammy. Yeah, we won three. Won three grand. Three out of four That's records. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you, you've had many different bands uh, along with your brother Edgar well, as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're known for straight ahead blues, I mean, real Texas style blues. And you've influenced so many great players like Stevie Ray and, and so many of the popular younger guys, Stuart Bottomas, and people like that as well today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would you do me a favor? Sure. Could you just play a little bit of your style? Uh, of, uh, you have a slide guitar. <laughs> Do G tuning as well. Do you? God, do I play in that tuning too. Okay, so you use a different guitar. Yeah. The guitar you're playing is how old? Pardon? The guitar you have in your hand yeah. looks very, very old to me. That's yeah, since '64. Oh, so I've had it since 1970. So you've been loyal to this guitar. Yeah. And Gibson makes the Firebird Johnny Winter model. Yeah, they right. Do. Yeah, they, they must be thrilled having you as. Oh, that's a very nice yeah. guitar. Yeah, it's yeah. great, great guitar. Yeah, I know people that play that guitar. Um, so, are you working today with your band quite quite a bit? Are oh, you yeah, all the time. Oh, you are? We just got back from Japan a week ago. Oh, you did? Okay, okay. How were you received? Great. They yeah. just, yeah, it's a great place to play. They love the blues? They love the blues. Yeah. That's what's weird. There's not even a word for blues in Japanese. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you go as? Johnny Winter? Uh... Well, we call it blues anyway. <laughs> you know, there's no Japanese word for it. Okay, okay. Now, as far as your uh, approach to the guitar, were you self-taught completely? No, I had a couple of teachers. Oh, you did? Okay. Were they formal? Teaching you to read music and well, such? No, or no, no. I didn't hear about any of that. <laughs> okay, okay. And they were strictly in, in introduced you to the blues? No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't want to play none. We didn't want to play any blues at all. Oh, okay. <coughs> our, yeah. first, it's our teacher was a country and western. Oh, that would make sense. Okay. Did you ever play country and western? Oh, I learned a little bit of it. Okay. You had to play some country and play clubs in Brown, Texas. You did? Yeah, you had to play a little bit. To get through. But I read where you mainly would go into the black, 
neighborhoods. Yeah, I like to play in black places. Right, right. And they received you quite well. Very well. Yeah, and we're here tonight at B.B. King's. And you played for B.B. and got a standing ovation. Yeah, but I was 17. When you were 17 years old. That's pretty big. That was a big honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love B.B. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. Do you get to play with B.B. much? Pardon? Do you get to play with B.B. much? Uh, every chance I get. Okay. We do a lot of the uh, Crossroad festivals. B.B.'s always there for those. Okay. And I've been with him in Duport in 69. We were on TV show together. I've played with him five or six times. I've seen you on cross, Crossroads as well. Oh, yeah. With Eric Clapton and Buddy Guy. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, when you're soloing without a slide, are you thinking scales? Are you thinking arpeggios? What are you thinking? No, I'm just thinking what I'm going to do next. You're thinking what you're going to do. <laughs> are there favorite keys that you'd like to play? No, I don't care. Any keys fine. Okay. I've seen you on YouTube scat when you're singing uh, and yeah. playing. Yeah, I used to do that, so don't do it much anymore. Oh, you don't? Okay, okay. It's great gear training. I can, though. Okay. Any albums coming out or CDs? I yeah, we say. got a new album that should be out in another month or two. Oh, okay. Just you and your band? Yeah, right. Well, oh. no, it's a lot of guests. Oh, who were some of the guests? Harry Clapton, Martin Offer, Billy Gibbons, uh, Joe Bob Massa, okay. Dr. John, Jason Ritchie, uh, the guy from Barrow uh, Smith. Uh, I see Perry. What? Perry? Yeah, Joe yeah, Perry. Yeah, Joe Perry. Yeah, I can't think of his name, Joe Perry. Yeah, I couldn't uh, Okay. Okay, can you play a little bit? Yeah, as if you're just playing a solo? Do you mind? Oh, you are? Great, man. Oh, Great. Sure. Okay, okay. Uh, do you work with your brother at all, Edgar? Well, every chance I get, not as much as I'd like. Okay, okay. So you're not recording with him right now? No, I know he didn't play on the last record. Yeah, okay. He played on the, the one that came out a couple of years ago. And when you were coming up in the very beginning, who were your influences? Uh, T. Bone Walker, B.B. King. Uh, Robert Johnson, Sunhouse, Elmore James, uh, God, I was Muddy Water to Force. I was influenced. I bought every blues record I could find. I learned something from just about all of them. Now, did you slow the records down and take no, the lights I didn't off? Have to do that. I just played at regular speed. And, and did it by ear? Yeah. So you have this, uh, these enormous ears. Yeah, I could, I could tell what was going on in the records. But yeah. it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and watching you play, you have a lot of chops. Not that you need chops to play the blues, but you have a lot of chops, I've noticed, when you're playing. Do you agree? You, f you feel like you're very technically proficient? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Do, do you feel um, a any different today than you did 40 years ago as a player? Well, I probably played better 40 years ago. Okay, okay. Do you feel you play less today, less notes? Uh, not really. No? No? You still got the chops happening? Oh, yeah. I can still put this up. Okay. It's not the same. Okay. Are you practicing when you're well, playing? I don't have to. We play so much. <laughs> <laughs> we play so much that I don't need to practice. Yeah. Well, what do you do on your time off? 
to watch TV. <laughs> I like to watch TV. Okay, okay. And you've influenced so many players like Joe Bonamassa, you said, and, and many of the younger players today. I mean, really, you're a part of blues history and guitar history as well. Uh, the hat you have on is catching my eye with the two rattlesnakes. Yeah, that's about 30 years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And is that your signature hat? Do well, I've got a bunch of them. Oh, you do? This is my okay. favorite. Okay, okay. Now, who's in your band today? Uh, Scott Spray on bass, Tommy Carey on drums, Paul Nelson on the other guitar. Okay, they've been with you for a long time? Yeah, we've been together about, about almost 15 years now. Oh my gosh, that's it. That's a family. So the drummers, the drummers like the band, maybe a year. Okay, okay. He looks young if it's the same person I'm thinking. He looks very young. Do you mind playing something else for me? feel these days? You feel sprawling? Feel you feel, you look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels fine. I'm yeah, fine. yeah. Yeah, and your hair is still long and thick. Yep. I mean, most yeah. people lose it by 40, yeah, right? Really lucky. Yeah, you've been really, really blessed. Yeah. yeah. Do you uh, have many friends uh, around these days that you play with at all, like from the past? Uh, uh, I have my first bass player still around. He's in Chicago now. Yeah. Dennis Frug and I see him every time we go to Chicago. Okay. He's okay. a couple of years older than I am. How do you think the business of music, the business has been towards you? Have you been happy with that? With the what? With the business of music, the outside of the playing. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. I don't really keep up with the business. Yeah. Paul does pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much all that. Your manager, Paul. Yeah, yeah. You're more about the playing. Do right. Oh, yeah. and that's what it should be. That's what it should be about. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Straight up blues. You play anything else outside of the blues? Yeah, we do a little rock. Yeah, we do Johnny Be Good and Bloody Okay, okay. Some of the old rock stuff. Right, okay. I like early rock and roll. Okay, early rock and roll. Yeah. Okay, okay. The shuffles, right. and stuff like that. Yeah. It's your blood moving, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you mind playing again for me? Well, I'm broke up. I can sit here all night and listen. <laughs> Response there when you play oh, yeah. the bass and then the high notes, and you can hear that 12 bar blues the entire yeah. time happening. Is that how you're always thinking 12 bars? Pretty much, yes. Pretty much? Okay, okay. You ever break away from the slide? Oh, yeah, all the time. We only play two slides as long as Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, okay. And what, uh, what amps are you using? 
these days? Uh, music band, oh, yeah. uh, four tunes. Okay, and and how about for the dirt, for the distortion? Yeah, it's, it distorts a little. Oh, it does. Okay. Do you go through effects at all? I uh, use a bus chorus pedal. Okay. No, I'm not very, very, not very much. Okay. Not much. No, but just, but just, just a little bit, six a little forward. Okay, but not like an arsenal of effects like a lot of blues players no, like use. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So you're, it's all pure. Well, what's one of your favorite songs that you wrote that you, you keep dear to your heart? Oh, there's a bunch of good. It's like Dallas a lot. Dallas, okay. Okay. Dallas is good. Enough. Right, right. Uh, when? Stranger. Yeah, I think that's my favorite song I've ever written. And when did you write Stranger? I'm not sure. The 80s, I believe. Okay. And what was that about? Just being lonesome on the road. Do you get lonesome on the road? I'm sure you do. I'm just my wife. I'm just my home. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bet you do. I bet you do. And you travel on the bus pretty much around the Pretty much, unless you're... it's too far away. Right, 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 yeah. I, I know tonight we're not too far away. No, it, no, no, so about an hour and a half home. Right, right. This must be like home <coughs> for you being at BB Kings in New York here, right? Right. In many ways. I, I feel a lot of love when I uh, walk in the room and the people around you. Uh, uh, the respect and the honor. And it, you're not trying to command that. It's just naturally there. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you say to a uh, young blues player coming up today? What to do? Listen to the old guys. Listen to the old guys. Listen to the old people who came before. Okay. You really have to do that to learn how to do blues, right? And, and like Robert. Chuck Berry. Do it your own way. Okay. Do it your own way. It's no use copying somebody. Exactly. You've already done it. Do you have to listen to it and, and learn what they're doing and then put it in your own style? Did you ever get to play with Chuck Berry? We never did. Never met Chuck. Really? I know both these kids, Bruce and Angry. I never met Chuck. Okay. I don't think I'd want to. Yeah, I think he's a very, <laughs> not a very nice guy. He's a great guitar player. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't seem like a very nice guy. Yeah, I don't hear I think I'd rather just like him. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, yeah. There's so many sessions that are like that, yeah. You, you seem like such a personable person as well. well I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I'm very lucky. Very lucky. able to do exactly what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, it's been a real honor. Do you mind playing out for me a bit? Sure. <laughs>